YouTube tends to stockpile a lot of new features and updates to their site until the week of VidCon, which was actually just last week. So we have a lot of new features to go through here together. We're going to walk through each of them. I'm going to show you which ones I think are good and which ones are probably just going to be useless. That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it is Tuesday, which means it's time to take a look at the online video news updates from last week and talk about the implications that they have for us as creators, specifically here on YouTube. And we've got a lot of them today. So I'm gonna go through these fairly quickly because there are a lot of them. There's links in the description text of this video that will take you to more information about each of these new updates we're gonna talk about if any of them is particularly interesting to you. So let's first get started with the YouTube Creator Studio. What is it? Well, it's now just basically, for now, your dashboard that has been renamed name from your dashboard in some places on YouTube to your creator studio. And it basically gives you a really big general overview picture of things that are happening on your channel, including some analytics, some comments, videos that are doing well, and just a lot of things. The dashboard has been available for a long time, but I don't know if too many people have actually made that like their home landing page when they come to YouTube. But I think that might start changing because along with the change to the YouTube creator studio, it will be coming an app. And it's already available for Google Play. So if you're on Android, there's a link below. You can go down this new app that YouTube has developed for creators that has a lot of these same features that you're seeing on the dashboard of the creator studio. It'll let you see your analytics, manage some comments, and maybe update the metadata of your videos and things like that. If you are an iOS like I am, then we'll have to wait a couple more weeks until that app has been approved and is ready for us to consume. If you are used to clicking up on your picture in the upper right hand corner and getting to your video manager, your channel, all those links that used to be available there, those are now gone. And there's a link in the description below that'll walk you through everything has changed just with that one menu. Also, YouTube added some sound effects to their audio library. So if you would like some zombie screams or airplane flying stuff or whatever kind of sound effects you would like, those are free completely for you to use. And if you are a gamer or you're just publishing really high quality cinematic videos here on YouTube, then you will be happy to know that YouTube is soon to support 48 frames per second and 60 frames per second, which should make your videos and your gameplay look way smoother. If you want to see an example of what 60 frames per second looks like, there's a link in the description below, along with lots of other things that will take you to a video here on YouTube that let you kind of check it out. Perhaps the feature that most people were curious about once they announced it a couple weeks ago is the crowdfunding option, or it's actually kind of more like a tip jar. Using Google Wallet, you can go to a video that, or a creator who has this supported and just donate some money up to $500, which sounds cool, right? Like, hey, now once I enable that feature on my account, when it comes, like all of you guys are just going to be rolling in dough for me, right? I don't really think that's what's going to happen. And this is one of those features that I hope would work well, but I don't really know that it will because the culture on YouTube isn't really one where we just like, we're like, we're not used to just giving out money here on YouTube. Now we're used to going to sites like Kickstarter, Patreon, Indiegogo to support creators. And a lot of people very freely and willingly do that. But even if you take that same feature set and put it here on YouTube, it still doesn't quite fit and it still probably won't won't work that well because the culture of YouTube isn't used to giving money here on YouTube. That's why like the premium paid channels that people can pay like a couple bucks a month, you know, for access to content, like those haven't been really taking off as well as anyone would like, or at least not as well as the creators would like. And so I think the same thing's gonna happen with this. The other thing is that it's using Google Wallet. That's the only way someone can contribute funds. And I, not every user has a Google Wallet account set up. So if someone does wanna give you money, they have to be like really motivated to do so. And the other thing is like the features for donating money, like I was kind of hoping it would be like a button beneath the video, like a tip jar type of, type of thing where you could direct your users to go click. But instead it's just like a little annotation which does work on mobile, so that's nice. And, or you can go to someone's YouTube channel and find it there in the sidebar. But both places, like they are really hard to find. Like I was going to some channels that I knew had them enabled and I was intentionally looking for the donate button and I couldn't find it. I actually had to reach out to a friend of mine who does have it enabled on their channel and they had to direct me exactly where to find it. So long story short, it'll be interesting to see how long that stays around. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below about what you think about the whole crowdfunding thing here on YouTube, the little tip jar donate 
eliminate button, whatever you, you want to call it. Do you think it'll work? Do you think it won't work? Do you think creators will embrace it, but fans won't? And do you plan on enabling it on your channel when it becomes more widely available? Also, another feature that we'll be rolling out sometime in the near future that I'm actually looking forward to is called creator credits. And basically, this lets you tag another creator with it whenever they show up in one of your videos, kind of like how you tag people in like a photo on Facebook, and then you can go to like their photos and see like all the photos that they're tagged in. This is something similar for YouTube is what it sounds like. So if you're doing a collaboration video, or maybe when you guys submit a video here to video creators for me to use as a tip on Wednesdays, then I can tag your channel in that video, and YouTube kind of sets up like an IMDB type of thing of like all the videos you're appearing in, you know, so that could be kind of cool. Also, another feature that's coming is the ability to crowdsource your captioning for your videos and now YouTube has been doing this for a little while with a couple different channels and they say that of the channels that have this enabled and their fans are captioning their videos for them their videos get about 8% more views than they were before we've already done an extensive series here on this channel about captioning which I will put a link to below if you haven't seen that yet because there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes with captioning that make it valuable for your channel but unfortunately captioning your videos can either be very time intensive for you or very expensive for you to have someone else do well now you can can just open that up and let other people contribute that to your channel as well. Another thing that YouTube has teased just a little bit, they haven't given us a whole lot of information on it, but it's called info cards and it sounds to me like it's going to replace annotations which are clumsy and ugly and they don't really work across most devices. So YouTube says there is a new interactive feature that's coming up called info cards that will work across all platforms, all devices, and give you a much cleaner, slicker interface and look on your videos. So we'll definitely be talking more about that as it comes up. Another little feature, I don't really know if it's actually a feature, but YouTube is talking about it, is now they have a show it's called YouTube 15 on Sirius XM, which is satellite radio if you're not familiar. It's hosted by Jenna Marbles. Basically, they're covering like the top 15 new and upcoming music artists and channels on YouTube. I understand what they're trying to do here and trying to get more exposure for creators and as long as like a YouTube community and audience that's listening to the show it might be okay but from everyone that I've known and I kind of even experienced myself like if you have a video gets like super popular it goes viral you show up on tele like television audiences don't really translate at all to YouTube uh, like audiences if you get featured on television you're probably not going to pick up like hardly any subscribers from that so I'm kind of curious if that's going to happen from satellite radio to YouTube I'm thinking not but hey a little extra exposure can't hurt, especially if it's Jenna Marbles who's talking about you. Also, there's more ways coming to manage your playlist. We already have seen analytics come for your YouTube playlist, so you can see exactly how each playlist is performing, especially compared to like other playlists. And we know that YouTube really, really, really likes playlists. They're pushing that hard because it leads to more watch time, at least to longer session time. And so YouTube really wants to get viewers into playlist mode, and so you should too. And so apparently they're working on some features that will lead to better discovery of playlists and then thus more exposure and watch time for you. More features, and these are actually have already rolled out so you can go play with these already. And the first one is improved messaging here on YouTube. Now personally, I disabled my YouTube inbox because it's usually just spam, just people saying, hey, check out this video, like I, that I would never be interested in. And also I don't really like having yet another place I have to check for messages and stuff. So I just kind of turned mine off. But YouTube is looking to improve that whole experience, thankfully. And in a couple days, you will see the YouTube inbox get frozen in read only mode, and then it'll officially switch over to the messaging system. And in the messaging system, your conversations will be threaded, so that'll make it really easy to kind of keep track of what's being replied to what. It'll also be easier to go and actually send a message to someone, just go to their about page on their channel, click on send a message, and then a little box opens and you can just send your message right to them. And the part that I love the most is that they now have filtering systems put in place that kind of separate the junk from the spam to from the personal messages, so that you don't have just one big inbox full of junk comments, messages, like everything all cluttered in one spot. And kind of along with that, they also updated how you can manage your comments. Now, this is a feature for you guys who have like hundreds, maybe even thousands, even hundreds of thousands of comments on your videos will help you be able to manage them way easier. Mostly because it really lets you fine tune how you filter all the comments that are coming through on your channel. When you're looking at your comment manager on youtube.com slash comments, you simply need to go to that drop down menu at the top where it says all comments and go down to where it says highlight 
highlights only. Now, before you do that, you might want to go down to set up highlights first of all, so you can select what filters you want to use. And your options here, you can only be notified of commenters that have like a certain subscribership level. Or maybe they're just super engaged fans. You want to be notified about that, or maybe just just comments from subscribers. If they're not a subscriber to you, you just don't want to hear about them, or maybe just the really popular comments are the ones that are getting all the thumbs up. Once you have that set up, you can just go back to your comment manager and from that drop down menu, select highlights only, and there you will see everything that fits into the filters that you just set up. And one last little option that YouTube kind of snuck in there that no one's really talking about, but someone in the 30 Days to a Better YouTube channel community kind of pointed out to me is that they've added this new little checkbox in your in-video programming that says optimize timing. And this apparently gives you the ability to let YouTube choose when they will show your in-video programming based on the viewer's past behavior and interaction with in-video programming. I personally haven't had enough time to test it yet, but I plan on enabling it here on this channel and then just kind of watching my YouTube analytics and the annotation sections to see what happens if people are clicking on it more, or closing it less, you know, things like that. And whoo, guys, <laughs> that is all the updates. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Which one is your favorite and what do you think, especially about that money one? It's the one I'm most interested in. So leave your comments down there about that one. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. Every Tuesday, we take a look at the online video news from last week and talk about the implications it has for us as creators. Tomorrow on Wednesdays to give you guys some YouTube tips, ideas, suggestions, advice. And on Thursdays to do some YouTube Q&A with you guys to answer a question that one of you guys is working through with your channel. And I do all this because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that could really influence people's lives and help them if the people who need to hear what you have to say could just find you and hear what you have to say. So thank you for letting me be a part of helping you guys grow your audiences and your YouTube channels. Subscribe and I will see you guys again tomorrow.